guys, I learned a valuable lesson today when it comes to these trailers that do not have their own built-in brake system. Uh, that when you slam on the brakes, someone on the highway slams on their brakes, um, that your U-joints have a tendency of braking, blowing your tires, busting up your rims. And that indeed is what happened to me. My U-joint blew, the rim is busted, and you know, the tire is shot too. Yeah, the tire is not going anywhere. Fortunately, I do have another wheel with the tire already mounted, but unfortunate thing is trying to get uh, a U-joint for this trailer. That seems to be the task of today. Um, you can see that one. It's looking challenging. So it's looking like the plate itself or the nuts snapped. Trying to trying to see if I can get this wheel off and then that you join off and then run it down to a uh, parts store. It's the unfortunate thing today. Uh, fortunately, you know, I got it off the highway. That's a very fortunate thing. Enough of my rambling. I gotta get to the parts store to see what I can do with this this sucker. And left the spare tire at home in the garage with the garage key on me. So, lesson learned, guys. If you're going somewhere with your trailer, make sure you inspect the trailer fully before you do anything, uh, any type of traveling on the highway or on the road. Let's get started, baby. That's my craziness for the day. She's still looking good, man. She's still looking good. Even though we were on the side of the road and everybody was confused. Like, everybody was confused <laughs> to see a Toyota Tundra on the side of the road. It was just absolutely crazy. <sighs> Alright, guys. Peace. Alright, guys. This is, uh, I guess you could say day two or day three. Um, so... Previously, my uh, U-bolt had uh, ripped, and you can actually see it over there at the top, right there. It's stripped off. So right now, I'm replacing this one. As you can see, it was nuts. They are like melted and stripped so i'm gonna replace that so this is it you check in show your id uh pretty much i do have to maneuver figure out how to maneuver this down trailer and then i dump looks like it's a mixture of dumping so let me figure out how the heck i can back this trailer up all right guys so i finally made it to the dump um, one thing that I noticed is that, you know, since my truck was, or trailer per se, um, was parked uh, for roughly two days to allow me, you know, some time to do the repairs to the U-bolts. And plus, it rained. Uh, it rained for two days. So, by that time when I was actually able to go to the dump, all of the, uh, you know, the lawn, uh, I guess you can say twigs, dirt, uh, leaves, they all, you know, started its process of um, compacting or I guess you could say decomposing, um, which when I went to the dump, I did not have the necessary tools to dump all of the stuff out the trailer bed. Um, the only thing that I had with me was a plastic leaf rake um, which that particular rake it, it just didn't have the power to move anything out of the trailer 
So what I ended up doing is just moving a leaf rake out the way and just pretty much doing everything by hand by tossing it over uh, that, uh, I guess you call it rail or um, concrete wall. Um, it took some time, it took roughly an hour. I was the last person that was actually there um, when it all was said and done is I should have put like the leaves or dirt in an actual tarp tarp or trash can and that way I can just easily dump it over and you know just go about my day so all right guys quick update so we've got the trailer here the trailer's empty everything's been pushed up and moved so we are out this is the first time that I've been here first time dumping my stuff um, some lessons learned is to bring every rake shovel Anything that you can use that can grab branches, twigs, I mean anything, man. Because I had to do everything by hand. Everything by hand. And um, only thing I have on me is uh, the hand wipes to clean. So let me get out of here because they're closed now. Just got to figure out a way to get out. Trailer is doing good. Got the U bolts on each side replaced. Both of the U bolts on each side was rusted out. The nuts were uh, surprisingly melted. Um, I don't. I don't understand why. I. I my, my dad states that uh, it 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 doesn't appear to be melted, but it appears to be like a smaller nut than it should. And what someone did is put a uh, weld on the actual uh, nuts underneath. So I did a custom, custom bracket. That one's definitely longer, but I'm uh, ended up uh, cutting that one out. Um, plan on replacing this tire and wheel on the other side because it's um, pretty much uh, my stock. I guess you could say my spare one. Um, it's mismatched. So I just need to figure out exactly what type of uh, tire they get or what type of, uh, I don't know. And it's uh, ST20575-14. Okay, so it's a 14 wheel. I just gotta figure out what the, uh, to see if these lug patterns are. Pretty much standard. But um, other than that, Everything is pretty much secure. Light secure trailer. Hitch thing is secure. Let me see, I might end up. No, well, that that's decent. Uh, this is this needs to be locked like right here, so that way that doesn't move. Um, the truck is loving it. It's handling it perfectly. Nothing's wrong with pulling it. Um, it's a it's a true light load. Uh, to this truck, uh, it's not a major sag. Uh, as you can see, you can barely tell the difference. So, I like it. I like it. Trailer is doing good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna uh, more than likely try to hide these wires somehow so that way they don't get uh, torn up. But, yeah, I'm just good to get this load off. So. Alright guys, that's enough of my rambling.